All right, so I'm slightly obsessed with recall launching. I'm on a mission to consistently get into the skybox with every launch. We're not there yet, but I've learned a couple improvements and I'd like to share them. Three easy changes remove the need for flat ground, makes jumping unnecessary, and generally makes it more consistent to reach the height that we want. The first improvement is combining Ultra Hand and Recall to pick up the pot or other Zonai devices the exact same way. Set the object in front of Link and bring it as close to Link as possible with Ultra Hand. Flip it upside down from its default position, switch to Recall, cast it, and quickly pick up the device. Because the device will always be flat while holding it in the air, this eliminates the need of doing it on a flat surface, or resting it against the wooden platform like I'd been doing before. The device will flip into Link's hands in the same direction every time. There is some timing involved with the pickup and drop. You want to drop it soon after picking it up, but not too fast. You'll get a feel for it over time. After putting it down, we want to fuse the wooden platform to the front of the device. The second improvement is eliminating the need for jumping. The jump was necessary because Link has slightly sticky feet to platforms, almost like there's an upward force from the platform towards Link. Because of this, if we don't interrupt this connection, the recall launch will do something like this. By holding out our shield with ZL and shifting our feet during the flip, it lessens this effect and allows for Link to be propelled from the momentum just like the jump. You could also aim your bow, or use the camera. I haven't found any of the three to be better or worse yet, so do whichever you prefer. Timing your movement is still important, but it's not as hard as timing a jump because all we have to do is be in motion. I believe that there is a sweet spot to be standing in when the flip happens near the middle end of the board. The third improvement is using auto build. Once you find the setup that works for you, use your history to recreate it the same way every time. Theoretically, you should be able to auto build the wooden platform, but I found it to be very inconsistent, most of the time causing the platform to disappear mid flip and not getting us very far. The auto built wooden platform does work more consistently with batteries, but I haven't managed to get into the skybox this way. If you find yourself without a wooden platform, you could also use an upside down wing. And you can auto build this as well. These improvements make recall launching so much easier, but getting to the height that we want every time is proving to be more elusive than I hoped. There have been many moments where I think I have it locked down, only to repeat the same steps and get a different result. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your application to Team Rocket.